بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلى الله عليه وسلم Hi guys, this is Tawheed again uh, This part 3, one of the part of Git Reviews and Mars Tutorial series In this talk, I am going to show you how to Git Merge and Reviews using JetBrains IDE In this case, we are going to use IntelliJ IDE if you have not seen part 1 then I will recommend you to see the part 1 it will help you to understand clearly whatever I work with I love to make a check checklist which I will go to show or work that's why I created a checklist this will we be going to implement or learn from here first of all clone same repository into two separate directory in this case this is my git experimental repository I clone this into two separated directory in my course directory under I clone one is feature the another one is master and open both directory project with two separate details id yes i already did it this is my master one and this is my feature one okay now we are mapping the theory image to practical log this is our theory image which we uh, already seen in part one here we are showing the how the branches are practically stored in a repository this is the regular state if you merge then this will be the next step and if we reverse then this will be the after reverse state in this case we are going to see in practical IntelliJ ID has a very fantastic feature one of them is version control in IntelliJ ID, I clicking on the version control and then here you will get three or four option for the time being we are going to click the log option in this log you are seeing Bismillah master 1 and master 2 it's belong to separate branch and the feature or the another branch created for master 1 commit this is exactly which I show the picture and this is the practical okay now first case we will learn how to reverse and what happen if we reverse it okay so in master branch this is the master branch you are seeing this is the master branch or uh, master branch uh, directory or project and how you know this is actually belong to master yes this is a good good question in right panel here you are seeing it saying that git master that means in this project belong to master branch if your vcs enabled this is master already selected in master branch you s you are seeing the master.md file it has two line one is master one and the another one is master two let's go to the feature project this is the feature project same as master nothing changed but the difference is here you are seeing the file feature.md which hasn't in master branch and here we are also seeing in master.md has only one line so now we want to pull codes from master to our feature branch for this we have need to follow a rules like a bible this is before merge or reverse reverse check out the parent branch and take a pull that means before start merge or reverse we have to take a pull from master here i am seeing 
it's selected in feature branch now I'm going to check out the master branch here in this section I'm clicking on here then master selecting on master then pressing on checkout okay it's checkout to master how you know the here you are seeing now only the master file are showing but the master also has one line because we didn't pull yet now I'm going to pull clicking on VCS then git then pull it pulling for master here you go now you seeing the second li line is appear here and it showing that the one file updated that is master.md okay now I am going to back to my previous branch which is feature branch now with same process check out now you are seeing the feature file came came here and the master has only one line okay now I am going to rebase and pull changes from master to my feature okay for that I am clicking on VCS then git then selecting the rebase here the rebase window came in this window you will get many option the first option is the repository location or the project location the second is selected branch this is here you are seeing feature and here also you are seeing feature so we reverse interactively with our master branch okay so that's why I am selecting on to master here you are seeing the master okay okay this is the master now I am pressing on reverse it started to revising in this section because we I doing interactive reverse but I will discuss the in interactive reverse briefly in a separate tutorial uh, in this case we are just clicking on start reverse now you are seeing the line came here in master okay and going to show the log here you are see the log status is changed slightly okay now I am going to push these changes to my branch for that I am clicking on git sorry BCS then git then push it saying that there is a two changes that is feature one then master one okay no problem I'm pushing it will basically yes this is the uh, this is the this is the problem uh, frequently happen and all time would be ha could be happen this is push reject you are seeing this is push reject why the push is rejecting because of now our local local repository fast forwarded to remote repository that's why it not recognizing our changes in this case we are going to revise also not march just just if, just for note uh, how the pool work uh, do you have any idea okay if not then I'm saying in short that is pool is a combination of two work that is fetch and then march or rebase now we are seeing that the push successful okay so I am going to lock this is saying that the master branch master branch is slightly backward from our feature branch because of now in feature branch has feature one commit and master two commit also okay here you are see the reverse section reverse section here you see that at the the changes they append to the font of master here this is the theory now if I go to p practical this is the practical now you are seeing the commit changes is 
appending to the front of master i i think it give you some sense and then it will be help to you okay now i'm going to my master branch here you are seeing the same as before if i take a pull so in in this section we already understand what happening in after revis okay now i'm going to show you the march okay for march i told you earlier before march and a uh, revis we have to check out that uh, must parent or child branch and then pull from that branch and then try to revis in this section you are seeing only master file has it hasn't the file which has in feature branch the feature.md the feature.md has one commit or one changes but it not presenting in master so this section i am pulling the feature branch ches changes into my master for that i am going to check out the feature branch from here check out it asking me the branch name yes i am i i want to call this name feature okay then i am take a pull here you see the master has changed okay this is it okay now i am going again the master branch here you see the log is already up to date because i just pulled from other branches now i am going to march march changes from feature to master in for that i am going to pcs then clicking on git then march changes okay in this case i am going to march my master to feature in this case i am clicking on feature and then write a message pull quotes from feature and pressing on march it's take a file from feature branch that is in master you are seeing the feature files here now i think you got the idea and now we will take a look in our log file in our theoretical image we saw that after march new commit is create and the both branch is merge into a single branch okay here you are seeing the this was the master branch isn't it and the other feature branch the both branch is meeting into a place and create a separate commit this is actually merge now i am going to push it here you are seeing the three changes here okay no problem i'm going to push it it will not ask me for rebase or something because rebase always rewrite our history that's why our local branch fast forwarded than our remote, remote branch but in march section it not do the same thing which has did by rebase that's why in march it not ask me to rebase my code again now i think you guys are clear about how the rebase and march working if you guys any question or suggestion then you may comment on my video and feel free to contact with me my facebook my facebook id is hmtmcse thanks for watching the video if you think it help to you then please subscribe my channel for next updates thank you again